Hey everybody, it's John Redmond here at Horizon Hobby and I've got my good friend John Denise in studio with us today and he's going to talk to us a little bit about updating the firmware software in your JR11X to, I believe, the new XG11 software. Is that right, John? That is correct. So, uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, man. Doing um, really good. You know, it's 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 been a while. You're you're in one building, I'm in another. Don't get to see you as much as I used to. Well, and even when you're over here, I'm in another part of the building. So. Yeah, see, so that's that's our problem, <laughs> anyways. But we're going to have a good time here today, and uh, you're going to talk to us about some really cool stuff with this radio and how to make it even cooler. That's is that right. Correct? That is correct. Uh, as you know, we've uh, released the uh, XG series of radios from JR, which uh, has their 2.4 protocol, the DMSS uh, RF protocol. Uh, what we've heard from a lot of people is they really like the programming in the XG11, but guys that are the existing owners of 11X has also wanted to have some of those features too. So what we've done is we've gone ahead and we've uh, brought that update to the 11X. Excellent. So we're going to be able to, if, if I've got an old 11X, I'm going to be able to update it to my buddy who maybe just got an XG11. I'll have the same software. I'm still going to operate on DSM2, DSMX. Is that's, that correct? That's correct, yes. It will, so it's not an upgrade to DMSS at all. No. And it will not have the telemetry that the L XG11 has. Is that correct as that well? That is correct. If, as you know, if you want to use uh, uh, telemetry, if, you, if you're using DSM, uh, you can use the uh, Spectrum STI module right. and all that stuff right. and have the module in your aircraft as well. Uh, and that's how you can use your telemetry there. What we've done with this is basically it takes all the features that are in the XG11 and we've incorporated in the 11X. It's got some really cool features that used to be only available on like the 12X. You've got the balance function. Uh, and there's actually some new stuff in there. Uh, the custom flight modes, which basically allows you to put your flight mode switches on any, any switch and also prioritize them. So, which is a really cool feature that uh, a lot of the XG11 owners have really liked so far. Excellent, excellent. So. Here we have, I believe this is your 11X, is that correct? It is. And I'm seeing, I saw this top secret thing back here, guys, and I, I was like, wow, what is that? And for those that don't know, John here is a world-class sailplane guy. I mean, he goes up and cruises this, the airwaves, and that's for like a little antenna with a flag, right? Yeah, So exactly. that, that's a sailplane thing. I, I don't understand it because I can't fly without an engine. We've all <laughs> seen what happens when I do that. <laughs> so Yeah, the fun part about having that on the back is everybody comes to my office and sees my radio is like, oh, what is that? They think it's some kind of new antenna. It's, it's something new. Yeah, exactly. something new. So, well, hey, I'll tell you what. Let's get started and figure out how we do this. Okay, first of all, what you're going to have to do is, uh, as in previous, it's all through the SD card. So you'll take your SD card, you'll download the software from our website, we'll have instructions on the website. Uh, it should come to you as a zip file. And when you op uh, open up the zip file, there should be three files in there. So it's a, like I said, it's a full on upgrade to the, to the software, which of course means you will not be able to use current uh, uh, programs. If you've got a, a saved program, uh, it will not work with this new software. So that's one thing you gotta be aware of before you decide to go this route. So I've got my favorite P-51 or, or Corsair or aerobatic airplane that I've got everything set just right mm -hmm. and I don't want to lose those settings. Right. What would be a good thing to see? Sounds like before I upload I need to do something else. <laughs> you need to do a couple things, yeah. What would be a great thing to do? If you've got the, uh, the current uh, software uh, saving program, the uh, data safe mm -hmm. from JR, you can download your stuff that way and it will print everything out on a data sheet. If you don't have that, what you can do is go into uh, the current 11 or current XG11 manual and you can print up data sheets like what I've done here and it's got basically all your features that you would want. Oh, very you know. nice. So you can just fill it in whatever is applicable to your model and you can save it that way for, you know, manually o uploading it into your radio right. after you upgrade. Right. So that's one way to do it. Unfortunately, since it is a wholesale upgrade, there is no way to use those old programs, but right. there are options for people that okay. want to do that. Okay, so that's good. So you can at least, it, it may take you a while, it may take, take us a while, but we can go and we can do whatever we need to do to make sure we don't lose those settings Correct. that we have before. Okay, right. so we've got everything written down, we've got everything saved. What do we do? Okay, if you've got an 11X, you know where the SG card, SD card goes, so it goes in the back in your battery area here. Mm -hmm. You upload it in there. And just like the other updates, when you go to update, you uh, basically will hold down the bottom right switch and you turn on and you'll see you get a green light. And the information on the screen is basically telling you you're going to do a software update. So it'll show you your old version and it'll also show you the new version that you can update to, which is uh, version 2, uh, 0, 100. So once that's all set and you're ready to go, uh, you need to uh, just hit the update button. 
And one other thing before you do that is the biggest deal also is having your battery voltage at a level where it will stay operating the radio. So we want to make the sure the radio is charged. <laughs> exactly. That's uh, the biggest deal too. Uh, if you've adjusted your voltage cutoff, uh, the, ra the radio will not allow you to begin the update if your voltage cutoff is one volt, uh, is less than one volt from what your current voltage is okay. on the radio. So basically we tell people to have about 10 volts on your, on your radio before right. you right. hit update. So once you hit the update button, it starts and it tells you, the next screen tells you to uh, please turn off the transmitter. So you turn that off and it'll take about a minute and you'll see the green light is on and it'll, uh, it'll take about a minute. So, okay, so now the green light's gone off. It's all gone. And what's going to happen, obviously, the next step would be, I'm going to turn the radio on. So you'll get a message on there which says software update phase two. Like I said, there's three files in this, so there's mm -hmm. three phases. We've already done the first one. Now it's phase two. And once you turn it on, it's automatically already started that update. And it'll go through phase two and then also phase three. Now, I noticed the green light went out. That's, That's that, correct. Okay. So, because before it was turn on, look for a green light. Right. And now the green light's gone. So just... Just yep. trying to make sure. Okay. And we'll explain it in the instructions. It tells you to follow the on-screen instructions, basically. Right. So once you've got the green light and you've already done started the process, you'll see it's going. So now you're in phase three, so you see it doesn't take very long. Right. And then uh, once that's done, it'll pop up and say your model data is not available. And that might freak somebody yeah, out. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, but all it does is say okay, and we'll see that here in a minute as soon as that uh, pops up. And then you're basically done. Okay, so yeah, we're going to sit down, look. We're going to click okay when it's time. Mm -hmm. It's still updating. And it says, don't turn off your transmitter right. or, or unplug your battery. So right. That's another thing when you're doing the update, always, you know, it's, it'd be easy just to pop the back off on your radio, leave the battery hanging or something like that. That's a little dangerous because if something happens, the battery will pull out and then you basically cost yourself a few bucks because you have to send it into service to have them. Yeah, they probably have to fix, what, the decoder or? It's or a, they have to reprogram the decoder board yeah. and it gets to be, you know, time and. Right. Okay, so now we are done. Now you see the green light comes back green on. Green light's back on. We got the beep, beep, beep. Yep, and it says the model data cannot be, re cannot be loaded, basically, because there is no model data to be loaded. Right. And then there's see down in the corner, it says okay. Once you hit okay, you're good to go. You're up there, blue light's, blue lights on, on, we're ready to rock and, you're and roll. Ready to go. And that's it for updating. And that's about as uh, well, simple. Well, that's awesome. And like I said, once you get that done, you've got uh, you know, all the features of the XG11 in your uh, 11X and you're still on your DSM protocol and uh, having fun, which is what we want to do here. Outstanding. So you got that, guys? You got your 11X and you want to update to XG11 software, which is some pretty cool stuff. Has some incredible abilities, kind of takes you, you said, almost into some of the 12X abilities. Yeah. yeah. Really, really nice. You want to take a look at this. It's all free, no charge, right? Just That's download correct. it from the website. Doesn't cost you a thing. Get it, put it in your radio, and then you're going to have to start reprogramming a little bit. Sorry about that. Unless you did, now, if you did the data save, could you then transfer those files back in? You cannot. So no matter what, right. it's a reprogram. And I guess that's because we've gone from the original 11X software firmware yeah. all the way up to the XG11. There's probably a substantial different mem number of menus because you, you made the comment you got a balance function and some other things. So Yeah, I mean, even one of the coolest things also, the first thing I noticed when I went into, so I started going through the list of features, and you, know, you go to the uh, dual rate and expo function. You know, most of the time you'd see like maybe four different dual rates you can have in there. Right. There's actually eight now with the XG software, and there's the ability to you know, do all kinds of crazy switches and prioritizing those switches to get different rates within those rates. So it's, it's a, a pretty neat deal. And also once you've uh, up uh, uploaded your radio, you can go to the, uh, the Horizon website on the XG uh, manual. You can download that, and basically everything on that manual is is, 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 what's, in your is radio. what's in the radio. So, for an 11X owner, if he wanted, if he's been looking at, say, the JR XG 11s, he does this, and it's almost like he's getting a brand new radio. Exactly. Without buying anything, he just doesn't have the DMSS, and he does not have the telemetry function. Correct. The cool Other than part. the spectrum. Other than the spectrum. Yeah, he yeah. can do spectrum. But what's really cool, he can still B and F all day long. That's right. Awesome. <laughs> well, hey, John, thanks for stopping in studio. Guys, I'm telling you, if you got an 11X, you definitely want to do this update. It's going to be really cool. It'll keep you flying. Really sorry you're going to have to reprogram some airplanes up, but in the end, I think you're going to love it. Remember, if you ever have any questions, you can always find me at editors at horizonrc.com. We'll see you at the flying field.